We're going to generalize today. We're not going to stereotype, or we're going to try really hard not to. Who knows what stereotyping is? The actual definition of stereotyping, the original definition. It's a printing term. And when printers wanted to cover up something and make it look all kind of the same because maybe it was a mistake or it wasn't supposed to be there, they'd use a block of print and they'd stamp it and they'd stereotype it, meaning it was all the same then. Well, we're not going to say all boys learn this way, all girls learn this way, all teachers will need to do this. We're going to say there's a spectrum of difference. But we all know that when we teach, we have to try to find the generalizations because in order to teach, and yesterday we saw some of you have classes of 27, 28, 29 kids, a couple have 30. When you're teaching 30 kids, if you can't find some generalized ways of reaching those kids, it's going to be impossible to get your job done. So you find the generalizations, which is what we're going to be talking about, and then with the t for about 80% of what goes on, and then the rest of the time you spend with those kids on either end of that for whom that generalization doesn't fit. 